I'm going to showcase how to create a jitterbug wrapping template. So let me showcase that. So here is the final version of the jitterbug map. So we'll try to replicate the same thing uh, by making use of a few calculations in Tampa. So let's do that. So I'm going to use uh, sample superstore here. So let me. So here we used subcategory level, but uh, you can use any of the dimensionality. So for now, I'm going to create a couple of calculations. Like let's use. Uh, you can name it anything. Like uh, for now, I'm going to use like uh, columns or rows columns and uh, let me use a calculation function call I and mean, in the function call as random so you can see there's no random function right here but uh, let's type in and the calculation is valid so basically you didn't find random function here in tableau even i'm using 2023.2 version uh, there is a 2023.3 uh, version is also available but generally random function exist but it's not available in the functions this might be because it doesn't work with all the data sources uh, so i'm just using random let me copy this so the column the calculated column is columns okay i'm just using the name convention columns let me create another calculated field same random you can make use of rows so basically uh, a random might be uh, a different random numbers but if he wants to differentiate between these two uh, you can make use of uh, any of the calculation right it doesn't duplicate with the rows that's that's not an issue but i'm just making uh, a different different number so that it doesn't have the same number with columns and rows so probably if you multiply with two or ten any number right so now you can just drag and drop columns into columns and uh, Rows into row shell. Let me use entire view. And now this is the random number generator. You can see columns and rows. So what I have done is I multiplied by two, right? You can see close to uh, the same number multiplied by two for the rows. So it's 5100 instead of two, right? Columns, it's like 10,000 change, right? So now I'm going to use subcategory into columns because. I have used the same thing here, right? I used the uh, subcategory. So I'm going to use subcategory for now in the columns. And uh, so then we can, we are going to use subcategory into color. Okay, let me differentiate the color. And yeah, you can you can use region or any of the dimension because you have that many subcategories, right? Uh, but uh, I'm going to use subcategory for now. And let's convert this uh, these two into dimension, okay? And uh, so in the detail section, right, to get the jitter bar graph, right? So I mean across the uh, subcategory, uh, and uh, we are going to showcase across product level, okay? So I'm going to use product in the detail section, okay? You can just drag and drop product name into detail section, product. So we are able to generate those, I mean, the level of uh, the detail across the subcategory level. And uh, I mean, based on the value, we have to differentiate the size. That is also where we can do that. And uh, for now, uh, yeah, all this formatting, we can do that in the, once we're done with the proper uh, bar graph conversion of these jitter bars, right? So, so basically we need to create a calculator field to differentiate the, I mean, the height. So, I mean, because of category level, you can see subcategory by sales or whatever the value, the bars will differentiate it, but you can see clearly everything is in the same height. So we can create a calculator field. I mean, uh, a percentage, right? So we are using subcategory level and um, and we even we have a product, right? So my intention is I want to showcase the parts across subcategory level. So for now I'm going to use fixed calculation fixed subcategory sum of sales and divided by fixed sum of sales this is percentage percentage of uh, total across i mean percentage of subcategory across total so i'm just using the percentage of total okay just an even image you can just drag and drop this into columns, just drop on top. And this is additional measure, right? If you will see in the maths card, 
you have columns on top i mean the marks that you have all but generally you can see columns and percentage of total that's the reason you can see a separate kind of a circle or a bubble in the separate uh, visual right so so our intention is to not to displace another i mean the value or a visual so let's convert into discrete so that you can see you're going to display the value on top right so this is a category and uh, the actual value here for a plan so this is the value even we can do format uh, i mean the percentage right we converted into percentage so you just go through percentage so that it will clearly show as a percentage value so now our intention is to differentiate the size right the height of the bar so what we can do is in the rows right this is in the row shell type right? uh, we have to differentiate the height so we can make use of rows calculation we have a random function so we can multiply with this into the percentage right so percentage of total let's see so what is the issue here let's see see i i typed in percentile and then i got this calculation so because uh, if you have a proper text name in convention so you might not get this issue but yeah perfect so i am able to get the proper shader background and uh, yeah wherever you have a uh, very few values across that specific subcategory you can see a few circles not uh, not many digit circles right so now yeah we all good so now we can make use of uh, the per, i mean the formatting so let's uh, hide this header and uh, even you can uh, hide this all and let's go to format let's go to shading probably so first i'll convert this worksheet into a different background probably black then we'll get to know what are all the things to not to display okay so now you have this all uh, grid lines or zero lines right so you can just avoid all these grid lines or zero lines click on none probably you can see a very clean jitter bar graph even if you don't want to display these lines the row divider and the column divider so you can make use of sheet level and uh, even if you go to rows or columns but just select sheet and you have a row divider click on none and for the column divider click on none perfect so if you go to presentation mode that's it so this is a jitter bar graph because of category level so if you want to use a uh, I mean, basically, we can also make use of size. So, if you want to use size, or uh, I mean, yeah, that's the best approach. Like, we can just drag and drop sales into size. That gives you uh, a better information here. I mean, based on the value, this will the size of the circle will also display. So, this makes more sense based on the data. So, this one very good option by which make the use of size. I mean, yeah, uh, that is what the one important thing we have to consider. while working with this even in the static background or other visualizations as well like percentage calculations and all of the things comes into picture so this is what uh, all about jitter background hope you understand and uh, all these calculations and yeah thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my videos okay.